This is huge, y'all. We just got confirmation on a new Dragon Ball web series coming in 2024 that'll be announced at New York Comic Con. This Dragon Ball web series that we're gonna see is completely new from Dragon Ball, completely different. No, it's not Dragon Ball Z, it's not Dragon Ball Super, and it is not Dragon Ball Heroes. I'm not gonna keep you guys here for too long. If you guys are hyped for Dragon Ball's return, make sure you guys do leave a like down below. Let's see how many likes we can get to this time, and let's get straight into the video. All right, everybody, I cannot stress this enough. Make sure each and every one of you watching this video right now watches it from beginning to end so you do not miss out a single detail because believe me when i say this you're going to want to hear every little thing i have to say first things first is that yes we are going to be having a new dragon ball web anime coming in 2024 in early 2024 in the first part of 2024 so that'll be between january and june or no yeah wait sorry january and july between that gap between that time period we will get a dragon ball web anime that will be premiering the series is going to be called dragon ball magic this is not dragon ball super this is not going to be Dragon Ball Heroes. This is not Dragon Ball GT. Now, I know a lot of people are saying that. I know people are saying that they're just redoing or trying to make GT a little bit better and stuff like that with the series that they're trying to do. I wouldn't necessarily say something like that. Again, we only know it's in bits of pieces of the storyline, so I wouldn't jump into conclusions on deciding or dictating on what it's actually going to be yet. I would, I'm, I'm telling all of you just to please wait for the official announcement, right? Wait for the trailer, right? Wait till we see more of the web anime because, like I said, when you here at first it may sound anticlimactic but it you really don't know this is something completely new so i would expect everyone to be optimistic about this now please keep in mind everything that i'm about to say is secondhand information okay this is not something that i've personally heard from any uh like inside leakers or anything like that this is something that was leaked by a lot of other dragon ball youtubers as well shout out to the boy dragon ball hype super chronicle shout out to the boy geek the 101 especially they are majority basically of the people that i've gotten this information from but yeah shout out to the boys i'll leave a link to all of them down in the description below so you guys can go ahead and be updated with everything that they say but okay let's get straight into this okay first things first is that a lot of work and i really want to note this the most like out of anything is that a lot of work was put into this series of dragon ball magic a lot of work was put into the series especially with the art and the art is meant to be the best thing about this series one thing i will say though is that i wouldn't because this is going to be premiered to a lot of children still as well like the way dragon ball super was so i wouldn't expect it to be very bloody like the way dragon ball z was or, or other stuff like that in the series it probably will not have that much blood scenes especially because uh, of the storyline and what the storyline is going to consist of but yeah i would keep an open eye about that but we will be getting old dragon ball animation style which is going to be absolutely freaking fantastic a lot of people were worried about them consistently doing 3d animation after seeing the superhero movie i wouldn't say so because the superhero movie that animation for the superhero movie was exclusive to the superhero movie basically meaning that that's just something new that they wanted to try for the superhero movie that's not something that they were going to continue to do moving forward but the animation style that they're going to be using for dragon ball magic is going to be 2d animation so it's going to be very it's going to be very related to the dragon ball z and dragon ball animation animation that we've seen earlier on in the series now this is something else that i want to put out there is that this has been in production for a very long time obviously just like you guys i'm just finding this out now i did not know this for a long time but the rumor has it that this has been in production since like the end of like the pandemic so i would probably say 2022 or, or something somewhere in that time period so it's been getting worked on for the past few months even years now so that's going to be really exciting they've been putting a lot of effort into this and that is probably why you should be the most optimistic about this is because the amount of time and effort that they've been putting into it but yes okay this is the main thing that everyone probably wants to know is that the storyline okay we're going to get into the storyline the storyline is going to consist of goku and the supreme kai and they're going to be turned into children right that's obviously one reference to dragon ball gt of goku going back into being a kid but they are turned into children by a demon or a specific villain it's not really confirmed yet but uh, potentially a demon and they go on a quest to chase that said demon from planet to planet defeating different foes and an attempt to try to get their bodies back basically Basically. But this is a very odd matchup because we've never really seen obviously we've seen it a little bit in the boot arc but this is purely off of goku and supreme kai so we've never really ever seen them team up this is literally more more than likely just going to be them two for the most part and that's going to be really exciting and we all know this we all know that goku cannot let the supreme kai die because if he does let the supreme kai die then also beerus will die because the god of creation and the god of destruction are linked to one another so there's going to be a lot of pressure on goku to do that i don't know if he's going to get like nerfed with his with being turned back into 
into a kid or stuff like that i i heard that transformations will not be like the primary focus for this web anime series so that's what, another thing to take into note of i don't know if we'll see like kid ultra instinct goku or anything like that but moving on with the storyline we are going to be getting also two new characters we're going to be getting obviously more than two new characters but for the most part two main new characters that are going to be joining goku and the supreme kai throughout this journey now it seems like what they're doing here is that they're taking ideas from gt right they're taking the dragon ball gt idea or not 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 necessarily the storyline but they're taking a lot of ideas from dragon ball gt and they're like changing them i guess you could say or like shaping them into trying to making them better and keep in mind they also did do this with dragon ball super broly and arguably to me that is the best dragon ball film and best animated film i've ever seen in my freaking life so they could very much do the same thing with the gt uh like franchise here i guess you could say <laughs> now is this series canon i would probably have to say yes okay the series is canon because toriyama with this series specifically is more involved with this series than he was with the dragon ball super series the, the, the dragon ball super anime series not the dragon ball super manga series now speaking of the manga if you guys are wondering what's going to be happening with the manga the manga is not going to change it's going to still be a monthly manga that is going to be released this could be a very very good year for dragon ball considering that the the superhero manga manga arc or whatever is ending for the manga so thankfully we're going to be able to go on to a better and a bigger part of the manga hopefully something new and fresh in the manga obviously we're also going to be getting the dragon ball magic web anime series that's going to be premiering we will also be getting and it has been confirmed now that we also will be getting dragon ball z budokai tenkaichi 4 which will also be another big banger in 2024 so there's a lot of things to come for when it comes to dragon ball in 2024 i hope you guys are excited i hope i hope you guys know this as well as that next year is also the 40th anniversary of dragon ball so they're probably going to be like sneaking in on a few other big things in the year so i don't know i'm excited dude now the episodes will be about 15 they'll be 14 i i i've heard a lot of different things i've heard it's going to be 14 to 15 and then 13 to 15 around there i would just say 14 to 15 just because why not <laughs> and then saying the length of the episodes will be between 20 minutes long or 45 minutes long now it may vary depending on the episodes um i heard dragon ball hype in his short say that it was going to be 30 minutes long to 45 minutes long which is quite a lot to be honest so i don't know but this is really big this is something new this is something different get excited dragon ball's back it's better than ever it's going to be coming back in 2024 we're going to be getting a lot of new things dragon ball related in 2024 so it's going to be a fun year for all dragon ball content creators as for the timeline dragon ball hype said that it happens at before the end of z but I'm not sure where at the end of Z. I don't know if this is like Go if Goku will have access to Ultra Instinct or if this is like before the superhero arc or after the Broly arc or something like that. I'm not sure. I really don't know. I can't give you an answer. All I know is that the only thing that I have on that is that it'll happen before the end of Z. But yeah, man, this is going to be new. This is going to be crazy. Let me know how you guys feel about all of this down in the comment section below. Let me know your guys' thoughts on Dragon Ball Magic. And yeah, I love all of you guys. Stay safe. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey, it's me, Goku! If you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit a like and subscribe button so you can be updated for all the new content PBL Gaming makes! See ya!